over here we will build a standard uh, smelting array. This one uses red, yes, perfect. Just like that. Oh, but we need coal. Uh, you know what? We don't have coal here, do we? I do not want to have to bring in coal. You know what, we'll just make it using electric furnaces. It'll be small, but that's okay. Which means, of course, we need to go get those. It's not efficient, but we don't need a lot. We just, it's a small, small uh, array. We just need a little bit. Actually, no, that's not gonna work because we need just, uh, right? Yeah. The problem with my idea is that a steel sur uh, a furnace is a crafting speed 2, and electric is also crafting speed 2, so we would need 50 of these, uh, 48 of these, just like we need 48 of those, and that's too much. So, let's uh, bring in some coal here. That's not a huge deal, we have coal on the bus, on the logistic network. Um, yeah, this will work. And we can place you quite close in because it's on the other side. But we have shallow water, and not enough um, of those guys. Have any good rocks nearby that we can steal? Yes. First, let's get rid of the trees. Definitely don't need more trees in my inventory. And then we can steal these rocks. That's unfortunate. We definitely need to finish that. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Good thing I copied a coal uh, requester since I forgot to turn off the request. or it's not gonna work. Because there's no place to empty it. Okay. 
camera is pointing slightly wrong. Hang on a sec. better. Yep, a little bit more. There we go. That looks better. All right. Let's go grab... Um, some warehouses which are over here actually. Let's get a stack of that. on so I'm just uh, killing trees as I go along but that's all right all right we don't need that there that it's a small train and I think we're gonna take out this you guys are gonna take forever doing that space to jump. Uh, we can go this way. And on here we can do anything greater than 10. It says to be even. Okay. Let's, um, nope, I never made the copy. Let's go ahead and make a copy of our, uh, of one of our smelting lines. Don't need you. And let's put you the, uh, right here. Now we do need to get rid of some of these. And I'm out of landfill. Ugh. Any more conveniently placed rocks? Yeah, there's a little bit. Not enough. Yeah, 
that's not even close to enough. Ah, there's some. See if that'll do the trick. Probably not. But it's still faster than going all the way back to base. Hmm, maybe. Nope, still a couple of drops. Not even sure where that is, but unhappy. Ah, there's some more rocks. That'll do the trick. this shallow water. Oh, still a bit more here. Fine. And right there. Upgrade our power poles. From those to those. to bring power in to the array. Fine. And then this is our ore. And coal can come in right here.
here. Landfill. There we go. And in you go. Now we do need to make sure we have some short trains in the system. Do we have any wagons on the bus? On the bus, on the train. No. Okay, let's, uh, this is set up, so let's head to the mall. And uh, generate uh, a small train. Okay. Let's see what we get. Okay. Uh, train cars right here. Ooh. We did make a unnecessary amount of them at some point. Okay, all we need is a locomotive and a car. Where'd the car go? There it is. And you're gonna go to LTN Depot and wait there. Because this is not eating fast enough. Mm. Because I'm bringing four in. Oh, because they're not full, maybe? Possibly. I should change that to like a smaller number. Facility, more laser, more of that, more of that, more of that. All right, let's go over to nuclear again. So that we can finish this up. And hey, we actually have some... Uh... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Go back to the mall, please. We got one key ingredient. One very key ingredient. Um, this station needs a name. That key ingredient, of course, is robots. Nuclear plant relies on robots to to work, so we've got to get some. We don't need a lot, but we do need a stack of. Uh, 
Attack of nope, not construction bots. Logistic bots. And once nuclear is up, then we can start deploying bots everywhere in our base. Which will be lovely. Okay. Look at that, I managed to not hit anything. Of course, now I jinked myself and will crash into something obvious. Mm, maybe not. I'd say I'm finally learning to drive, but, you know, we all know that's not true. Alright, what have we got here? 5k? So, why are we not, uh... train dispatching. Maybe the requester is not turned on correctly. Let's take a look. Ah, I don't think this is hooked up. Yeah. Uh, so let's uh, hook it up. And there we go. Now, we're going to replace this with a passive provider warehouse. Calling for how many? 20,000. That might actually be too much because these things are smaller. Let's call for 10,000. And I'm going to dump that in there. And I am going to dump the that in there. And off they go. Very good. squeak through does not correctly identify these guys because they um, they're not empty they contain the sulfuric acid so it doesn't know that they're used up okay so we've got these guys coming in and off they go to do their job Ah, and we needed to use white ones here. guys. Well, I need some electric motors, but I don't have any on me, and I doubt there's any in the train. Unless there's some in my logistics trash? No. I forgot we needed water. Well, that's alright, because it's going to take a while for um, the nukes to come up to power anyway, to temperature. see they're at um, 250 and I think they need to be at I remember, 500 600 something like that to operate and of course the temperature here is 270 but out at the ends here it's uh, 107 it's gonna take even longer for the whole stack to come up to them plenty of time for us to go and grab some materials to make some uh, power plants. Some um, uh, 
these guys. Grab those. Let's grab some pipe. consumption much since uh, we built that last steam engine array and we're gonna want some accumulators real soon now batteries iron plates not a big deal and there's inbound trains up oh, and we've had deliveries excellent so this can hold this is currently has 3.6, yeah, you can easily hold 10k and that's plenty, we don't need a ton here. Okay, how hot are you? 480. somewhere like say right here okay let's uh, get our fluid done Pump. we can go uh, I suppose here here? No? There. Yes, we need to bring power into you. this kind of power but for the moment we will just uh, do this okay so that's water none of these are spinning up yet because of course these are not up to temperature but right now out here it's only but 500 degrees, so I think 600 maybe what we need. And this is up to 680. No, oh, these are over 600. Maybe 700 is the min temp. Yeah, no output yet. Oh, but we also don't have it hooked into the power grid, do we? There we go. Okay, it just wasn't on yet. 500, that's, that's the magic temperature. Okay, and now we have capacity for 243 meg megawatts. It just more than doubled our uh, production capacity with this nuclear power plant. And that means that we can uh, let that run. We do need to research the texts that are going to go into here because we want uh, um, we want nuclear fuel reprocessing, which is what this one is going to be, and we want Covarex. 
but for the time being, we're okay. Yep. Now, what we do want to do is, um, is shut down our, um, coal plan, because we don't want to waste coal, and, um, we're going to do that intelligently, you know, by, um, uh, by scaling the, um, the power, by shutting the pumps off. If we don't need them, we will see that in just a minute. Uh, I think we're making batteries somewhere on the bus, right? Yes, we have battery production, uh, but we even have accumulator production. So, life is good. Let's see. We make sure we have full coverage of... ...of this. Grab some uh, batteries. Oh, it's 940, so it's uh, we're actually overdue for my first break, but um, we'll just do that in one second. Mm, too far. Right here. Yeah, that's fine. I really need like one. Let's go over to the steam. Oh, I need to craft a power switch. Unless I have one being made in the mall. No, I don't believe I ever made power switches because I use them so rarely. Yeah, no, we don't need a power switch because it's controllable. Never mind. Where are you going? I dreamt I was missing a uh, assembler somewhere. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop a accumulator let's say right here uh no it needs to be on the main power grid so let's put it right here because this is our sub grid for just powering those and we're gonna wait for it to charge up and the neat thing about accumulators is they all share the same charge as long as they're on the same grid their charge and discharge level will be exactly the same anywhere where they are um after that initial charge up so what we're going to do is we're going to take a green wire from that to the pole, the pole, and to these guys. And you can see there's an A signal, the A for accumulator. We're going to say that this is going to turn on if A is less than uh, 50. So we're going to turn the pumps off that way. And turning them off will uh, um, A is less than 50 and A is 100. Okay. I'm not seeing anything that says it's disabled by uh, automation, but yeah, no, the pipes are empty. And that will cause this to gracefully shut down. Um, just power down and conserve our coal usage. 
And if um, the nuclear reactors prove inadequate for any reason, this will start to discharge, and as soon as it drops below half, it will kick the pumps back on and we'll get steam power back. A very kind of standard way to to automate that. So once all of the water in these guys is used up, we will see that we're producing. We will we will see the steam engine, the orange line, drop away. And the blue line carry the load. Mm, which will happen in a minute. However, right now, we're... Oh. Uh, yeah, and we're going to disable that alarm. Because, of course, the alarm is set to go off if the um, steam drops below 50%, which it has, but that's okay. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to change this alarm by taking another accumulator. We'll drop it right here. Let it charge up. Okay, and we will take it from here to the alarm. this if A is less than, uh, let's say power is still dropping, let's say 30, no, not that, 35. Okay, and this is going to be the symbol we're going to use, uh, do we have anything that looks like power? Mm, no, so we'll just use the accumulator itself. here we could build it anywhere but that'll work okay and now we can see the steam system is completely shut down and that's perfectly fine because we now have nuclear power if we look at this oh, that one's actually not hooked up to anything if we look at this we can see uh, let's look at the 10 minute graph see it was all carried by steam it was being split with um, the nuclear, and now it's all being carried by the nuclear, which we currently have 125 megawatts, and we can easily increase that by building more modules. So, we will continue from here in just a few minutes. <laughs> 